Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to From My Vanity and welcome to a really chill and laid back video. Before we dive in, I do want to say I do have this look filmed. The only thing I did to change up my look was I added some glitter liner in my crease. This is Heavy Metals Pyro and then I added lashes. These are the pre-permed push-up in tight curl 672. Um, please don't judge the lashes on how I apply them. I just don't know how to apply lashes. But anyway, I am here today with just a really chill and laid back video because I got tagged in a new tag video that Drea CN has created. Levi's here with me. He decided to take his nap early so that now that my oldest two are asleep, he's awake. So I was like, you know what? Let's do a little tag video because that's a lot more laid back and he can chill and play in his chair or I can hold him. It'll all be good, but you'll get to hear lots of baby noises in this video. But anyway, yeah, as I said, Drea Sienna, I'll have her channel linked down below. She created a quarantine tag to kind of just be able to talk about what's going on, to be able to answer some fun questions, to try to just bring us all together and just chat about some fun things. Some of them are, you know, a little more serious. Some of them are a little more lighthearted, but just to have a fun tag. And uh, she said in her video, but I'll reiterate it here, it's not to make light of it. Um, definitely not to make light of what's going on. It's very serious, but us, at the same time, it can't be doom and gloom all the time. We have to find joy in something. We have to find joy in where we're at. We have to learn how to cope and how to get through each day with the world being as it is, with our life being the way it is. We have to find the new normal. So anyway, I took her tag to be very lighthearted and just a fun way for us to connect through all of this craziness. And I was really, thank you so much, Drea, for tagging me. I was really honored to be tagged and I definitely wanted to make sure I did this because I feel like it's just a good video to have right now. I've definitely been pretty stressed. If you don't know what my husband is in the medical field, he is a radiologist, which doesn't put him on the front lines, but it puts him closer than me as his wife, who wants him to be safe, would like it to be. There's a lot of unknown on the horizon for me and my family specifically, but also the whole world. So anyway, I don't want to bring this down too much. I don't want to get too into all that. I would like to do a three month update video for Levi because he just hit three months and just kind of share with you guys how we've been how we've been coping with three kids and all that stuff. Um, so maybe I'll touch on it then just because right now there's still a lot of unanswered questions. There's a lot of who knows what the next week will bring, who knows what tomorrow will bring. So I'm just going to leave that alone. But yeah, I feel like I'm getting on a rabbit trail and we just begun this tag video. Let's get into the tag. I'm so sorry for rambling here. Um, Life has, life has been eventful, I will tell you that. But anyway, there are 16 questions. Drea thought of a lot of fun ones, and let's just hop right into it. Okay, I feel like I'm at a weird angle. I don't know, but I'm just going to get comfortable here. Let's see. The first one is, have you taken up a new exercise routine? Now, if carrying around a 17-year-old, 3-month-old all day, every day, counts for taking up a new routine, then yes, I have. But honestly... From before this, all this quarantining has started to now, I really haven't changed up my routine at all. I am taking care of the kids all day long, doing YouTube in between. By the time I get to the end of the day, I'm exhausted. I go to bed. I'm on my feet a lot. And like I said, he's 17 pounds, three months old. He's my heaviest baby. My arms ache. And he's also in that phase where he doesn't like to be put down. Like, I'll make him do his tummy time. I'll make him play by himself a little bit. But it's like 10 minutes. And he's like, okay, mama, I want you to hold me for the next hour before my nap, you know, before my next nap happens. So I do a lot of holding and switching between both arms. So I'm definitely, my arm muscles are definitely getting very toned with him. Question number two. Be honest. How much are you snacking? Um, honestly, I am exclusively breastfeeding my three month old. I just talked about him being three months, 17 pounds. He eats a lot. He eats a lot for me. He's my best fed baby, obviously, because he's my heaviest, but he eats the best out of all my kids. So because I'm breastfeeding, I need to be eating a lot. And honestly, I'm not eating as much as I should be just because I'm so busy. I'm trying to get a lot better at it and make sure I'm eating three square meals a day with my children when I feed my kids, but then also trying to make sure I go get a protein bar or I go get, you know, some peanut butter and crackers or something throughout the day, um, especially like when I sit down to breastfeed because that's a time where I have to sit and do nothing but breastfeed him. So I'm trying to get better at going, okay, Kitty, go get something to eat, get a drink of water and set it right beside where on the couch where you're going to nurse so that I can eat and drink because I'm the type of person, I'm just so busy and yeah, I'll feel like I'm hungry and whatnot, but I'm just so busy. I don't really think about it until I'm already sitting down nursing him and then I'm going, oh, you know, I'm really hungry. <laughs> I'm really thirsty, but I'm already nursing him. So then I just don't do anything. And yeah, that's not good. So I'm not snacking as much as I should be. Question number three, are you putting on makeup just for fun or are you skipping the makeup all together? Um, I'm putting on makeup same as I always do. Now I know a lot of people are in quarantine, a lot of people are working from home, so their whole routine, their whole way of life, of you know, everyday life has totally changed. But for me personally, 
my day really hasn't changed. Um, it, if anything, when it was yeah. all happening, it was a little bit longer because my husband wasn't coming home to like eight or past that at night. So I was alone at night more often, but my husband has always been the one to work long hours in residency and then now even at his job. So I'm kind of used to, you know, taking care of the kids. So even though it took him away from us a little bit more, our daily life really hasn't changed too much um, in that I stay home all day with the kids. We don't go grocery shopping anymore. We don't go to the park anymore. We don't go visit, you know, our extended family anymore. We do a lot of Skype calls and stuff like that, but that's really the only thing that has changed. So for me personally, my daily life hasn't changed. The only thing that has kind of changed up, I will say, is I get ready at a different time. Before, I would say about a week and a half ago, I was getting up at 5.30 and doing my makeup before the kids got up. But if you don't follow me on social media, I got mastitis like a week or two ago, and I have just been, I think it's almost two weeks at this point, but I have been recovering and I didn't want to make myself more sleep deprived to potentially get mastitis again because that was awful. So I've been making myself just sleep in. I'm like, no, Katie, you're not sitting there long for 5.30. You're just going to sleep until Levi wakes you up, Gideon wakes you up, or, you know, your husband's going to leave for work. And then I get up. But uh, I've been doing that since then. So I'm having to get ready with the kids awake. And I don't like it as much. <laughs> I'm able to do more get ready with videos, like, you know, putting my makeup on and talking to you guys, which is nice because I don't do that when I get ready 5.30 in the morning. I don't do any talking. But um, it's definitely a lot crazier and makes my whole routine take a lot longer. So anyway, where was I going with that? Oh, I'm still putting on makeup, same as I always did. Long-winded as always. Question number four, have you done anything to your hair? Nope. I don't even brush it, as you can see. I could have at least brushed it before I sat down, but I didn't do that. Question number five, how are your nails and lash extensions holding up? My nails, I've, always, I've been doing press-ons for eons, but uh, I have actually haven't had the time at night to put them on before I go to bed, because that's when I prefer to put them on, so the glue can really harden all night without me using them. Um, and I just haven't had the time since the last pair popped off, but they're fine. Um, I bent a nail backwards the other day, but I know they're talking about like acrylics and stuff like that. I don't do acrylics, I don't do lash extensions, so mine are fine. Question number six, what do you miss most about the normal outside world? Um, I miss being able to take my kids out to the grocery store. I miss being able to take them to the park. We, we've been talking about going to the zoo. We've been talking about going to the pool. And I just have to tell my kids, you know, hey, when this virus is over, we're going to get to do all those fun things. But for right now, we're going to stick close to home. I and mean, we still go outside. We have a really big open um, driveway at our house. So the kids are able to take their bikes. And I mean, they're toddlers, so they don't need that much space. So they've been doing that. And it's really nice to be able to get outside and let them do that. But um, I would say that's the what I miss most. Being able to take them to the park, being able to take them to the zoo, just being able to go out and explore. Um, you know, grocery shopping. I did, you know, grocery pickup a lot even before all this started just because it's really hard having three kids to try to think about all the groceries you have to get while making sure kids aren't going crazy. So I've always tended to prefer that. But every now and then for short trips, I'd go in with them and, you know, we just make a day of it, a morning of it, an event of it. But I think the thing I miss most would be just being able to go out with them and do something fun and different to change up their scenery, get them outside running, get them, you know, fresh air, exploring things and whatnot. I feel like at home, you only have a limited amount of things that they can explore, that they can, you know, do, that they can use to climb. Like we don't have climbing stuff around here. So I feel like that's what I miss most. And then being able to see family. We Skype a lot in stuff but it's not the same. Question number seven, what are your YouTube channel recommendations? Oh, I have so many. I want to do a YouTuber recommendations. I recommend Drea Cien who created this. I've done two videos of that in the past. One was kind of like a fun little, it was the first one I ever did but I'll leave this one linked up here. I uh, recommended 12 smaller YouTubers. I think that's what I titled it. I'll leave that linked up here. I definitely still recommend them all. Love them all. Some of them have kind of stopped uploading but I still really enjoy all the channels um, and I will do one soon. So I'm not going to answer this one because I could go on and on but I've been keeping a list of some favorites that I haven't mentioned in videos and I do want to do a YouTuber recommendations. It's on my list. I'm going to try to do it soon. Hopefully maybe this month. We'll see but check out Drea Cien. Question number eight, favorite podcast. Now, I'm not a podcast person, but I do listen to podcasts if they're on YouTube. Um, the only exception I have is Samantha March, just because I will support anything that Samantha March does. And then a podcast that I have been in two days is the Crime After Crimes. It's on YouTube, so I have been binge watching all the uploads they have so far. But all right, I'm shocked that he was chilling for so long in his chair by himself, but he is now fussy, so he's going to sit with me. Um, don't mind his hair. He has really bad cradle cap. Um, I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me. But if you see that and wonder why 
why I leave crumbs in his hair. It's not that. It's cradle cap. Anyway, he's now just going to chill in my arms. You guys can see little bits of him, I guess. I could hold him up, but ugh, 17 pounds. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah, I already am subscribed to... Um, Daniel Holland on YouTube and the last upload she did she mentioned having this podcast called crime after crime with this other guy And I was like, oh really? So I checked it out and I have been enjoying the podcast so much um, Yeah, I, I'm trying to catch up to all of them But that would be one I would recommend so I'll leave that link down below if you're curious to try out a new podcast I really enjoy listening to true crime and just being more aware of like things that happen in the real world It's a little insane the true stories the true crimes that I have heard so anyway, I don't also like to do that let me know what you think down below would you like to for me to do a recommend like YouTube channels I watch that aren't beauty related I don't have many I stick well I shouldn't say that I don't really branch out from makeup that much but there are some youtubers like true crime I have a, several ladies that I like to watch so I could do a video just right there uh, youtubers I recommend that aren't in the beauty world let me know if you'd like to see that Question number nine, what have you been binging on TV? Um, I actually don't really have TV at all. Um, if I binge anything, it's on YouTube. I don't have Hulu, I don't have Netflix or any of those. The only thing I have is YouTube Premium, so I watch a lot of YouTube. Um, and I just mentioned what I've been binging, honestly, is the tr crime by crime. And then before that, I was just kind of binging older videos from YouTubers I love. I honestly, I just kind of go and explore. Um, I was binging, actually before the Crime After Crime, I was doing a lot of binging anti-MLM videos from a variety of people, but my recommendation would be Emily Leah. I was watching a lot of her videos. So yeah, I just kind of find a, a subject on YouTube. If I'm kind of tired of beauty or just all the people I follow aren't uploading anything new, I'll find a subject that I'm interested in and then just binge a bunch of videos on that subject. And before that, I was binging a lot of videos on the Spanish plague of 1918, I think it was. I was learning about that a lot, no surprise. Okay, almost done. Let's see. Uh, 10. Question number 10. Favorite book or book series? I have not been reading at all. So I'm very sad to say I have nothing to recommend here besides like books that I read eons ago. And if you want a good series, um, oh my goodness, this has been so long, but it, oh, God bless you. Um, oh, what, what was the series name? Um, the author is Lisa Bergren. Bergren? I'll put it on the screen. I'm sorry. But it's the River of Time series. This is so cool. It's like a medieval setting, which I've always loved. It's about two teen girls who travel back in time and get stuck in a medieval time period. That's all I'm going to say for now. I'll leave the link down below if you want to check out the series. But that was my favorite series. And if you want a good recommendation for a series to jump into, I liked it. There was a lot of action. There was romance. Um, there was It was just really cool, too, because both of the girls just happened just happened to know how to like fight with the sword and all that so they ended up like actually like helping fight the war in the medieval period it's a really cool series I really enjoyed it as a kid and if there was a series I would sit down and reread that would be it question number 11 have you taken up any new hobbies uh no besides kids and YouTube that is all I'm doing and that fills my time to the brim question number 12 what are you doing to relax um Nothing? Okay, my camera battery died. But anyway, I was just saying I'm not really doing anything to relax. Um, you know, but with that said, like, YouTube is definitely a relaxing, like, that's, YouTube is what I do for my me time, so kind of to keep my sanity throughout the day with everything else that I, you know, I'm doing to, you know, take care of the kids and run the house and whatnot, I make sure I have time for YouTube because it forces me to do something for me that I enjoy, so I find that YouTube is a good avenue, but, um, I kind of do it while doing other things. I don't know. I guess if you want to say it like I do relax and when I do relax I will take the time. But during nap time usually when he is asleep and the kids are asleep and I'll give like one hour to myself to not clean, to not do anything with the house, to not do anything with the kids and just sit down and edit a video and I find that very relaxing. Question number 13. Post a picture of your pets. Let's be honest. I just want to see. <laughs> I have no pets. I have children, so does it count if I post a picture of my kids? Or I just show you a picture of my okay. kid with barf on his face? Let me clean him up. Anyway, that's Levi, and then I'll take a picture of the other kids too. They're my kiddos. So yeah, don't really have a pet to show you, but I have my children, and I think they're pretty cute. Okay, almost done. Question number 14. Post your favorite or funniest meme. I don't keep memes, but I'll go look around and find. There's a lot of funny ones. 
a lot of funny ones, but uh, yeah, I don't really save them, so I don't really have them to reference back to, but when I see one, I'll chuckle, but I just keep moving. But anyway, I'll find one to show, and I hope you get a chuckle out of it. <laughs> Question number 15, you're effing hooray. Big or small, something you're grateful for or something that made you happy this week? Um, my husband is getting a day off tomorrow, and I am so happy. Um, big or small. Besides that, that's definitely something that made me happy when he told me that his boss was having him take a day off just because of how much he's been working. I was like, yay! <laughs> like, I will take that. Um, but some accomplishment? Um, I, I would say something that I feel like I've been really happy and excited for is that like my videos on YouTube have been doing better. Um, I was doing really good before I moved um, down to Florida last year and then I got pregnant so I ended up taking I think it was like three months or more off and even when I came back it was spotty for a month or two. Anyway ever since then even though I have like a pretty substantial following my views even a good video wouldn't go past like 300 views after like a week or two which was pretty low for me because I want to say when I stopped uploading consistently when we moved an average video that I uploaded would get at least two to three hundred views within the first 24 hours and then ever since I've been starting there's some videos that don't even make it to a hundred in the first 24 hours so that's been a little frustrating and not really frustrating but just a little disheartening as I'm trying to get back into it so anyway my accomplishment is that my recent videos, 200, I would say 200, some videos are getting to 300 in the first 24 hours, but on average I can consistently get to 150 to 200 views in the first 24 hours, and that has made me really happy. Now I just uploaded a three looks, one palette video, and those always do so bad. Like I totally get now why YouTubers don't like to do them, because they really do. They're, they get terrible views. Every time I post one of my three looks, one palette, if you're not a YouTuber, uh, YouTube on your dashboard will say like, hey, this new upload that you did out of the last 10 videos that you uploaded, it is, you know, and it'll rank it. You're number one, you're number two, you're number five, you're number 10. Every time my three looks on palette are my number 10 <laughs> because they do so bad in views. So I've been trying to space them out and I've really been trying to like pay attention to my analytics, pay attention to what I'm putting out and trying to, you know, do better at tagging and just learning more. And anyway, all that to say, I feel like my last week or two of videos have been getting relatively good views and that's been very encouraging to me and yeah, that's just something I would definitely say was worth celebrating because it's something I've been really trying to focus on more because the more I learn about how the algorithm works, the more I understand why my videos aren't doing that good. So anyway, all that to say, I've been trying to focus more on the algorithm, paying attention to my videos, putting up videos with a purpose and it's starting to pay off a little bit so it's, that's my accomplishment who are you talking to back there number 16 what can i do to help you this was a neat question she added added at the end i feel like i really can't do much but just like her she'd love to hear if there's anything you know anything that you know she can do to encourage you and i'll say the same like is there anything that i can do i feel like there, like I said, there's not much I can do, but if I can just be a word of encouragement, let me know how you're doing, how are you guys holding up. I've heard from some of my subscribers, so many of you are saying you're laid off or just not working or you don't know if you'll have a job when all this is over, which is heartbreaking and terrifying. Um, with my husband being in the medical field, we do have that job security. Oh, lovely. He barf. Little Levi barks so much, but uh, we do have that job security because they need the medical field, but there's also that scare with having the job security. But anyway... My heart goes out to everyone who doesn't have a job or doesn't know if they'll have a job when all this is over or has their own business. Like, I, yeah, there's so much that I'm just every day I can just get so overwhelmed thinking about like, well, what happens with this? Like, what about these people? What about these people? So anyway, to get to the heart of her question, let me know what I can do for you and just let me know how you guys are doing and how you guys are holding up. He's a grunter. See, he's happy as can be talking to my palates, but he grunts. He always sounds like he's so upset. Can you, you want to look this way? Oh, oh yeah. I love babies at this age because they're like little bobbleheads. They're just like, and he's definitely a bobblehead. Anyway, that is going to do it for this tag. Those are all the questions. I'll have the questions linked down below. I am sweating back here holding him with all these lights, but <laughs> happy as can be grunting and pushing on my leg. Anyway, I'll have all the questions linked down below. If you have a channel, please do this, and I'll have it Drea CN's channel, and if you want to check out her video, I don't know, at the time of filming this, I haven't seen anyone else uh, put up videos, but maybe by the time I get this video up, there'll be more. She just posted this like two, three days ago. But anyway, yeah, this was a tag I really wanted to jump on and just kind of sit back and talk with you guys, and yeah, just answer some fun questions and just ask 
and see how you guys are doing. And I'm doing fantastic. This is me all day long. Sorry if you hate barf. It's just a fact of life for me now because this guy barfs literally all the time. Doesn't matter when he ate. It could be two hours ago and he'll still barf on me. So anyway, I'm going to go clean myself up and clean him up and play with him for a bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. I'm so sorry if you guys don't like barf. I, I realized thinking about this that some people might really be offended or turned off by that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'll cut it out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoyed getting to see a little bit of Levi and his cradle cap head. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. Check out Dre at the end, as I said, and let me know if you do this tag. I'd love to watch your video. And me and Mr. Grunter are going to go now. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hit the like button, as always, if you enjoyed this and want to help me out in the whole YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you very soon in my next video.